Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today, who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Who is the Holy Spirit? Now, we know, we all know, we Christians know, He's the Spirit of the Lord. He's the Spirit of God. We don't fully understand the Trinity, but we, we understand somewhat what God, the triune being, is all about. Because we are a Trinity ourselves. I am spirit, soul, body. I am not a body. I am a spirit. Benny Hinn is not three Benny Hins, There's only one Benny Hinn. But there's a, a, a triune being in every one of us. We are spirit, soul, body. I am a spirit, have a soul, live in a body. I am a Trinity. At, at, at least I get that part. I don't fully understand God because never, we will not, um, you know, as long as we're in this body, we, we, we're not going to get it. We do know from Scripture that God the Father is a person separate from the Son. God the Son is a person separate from the Father and the Holy Spirit. And God the Holy Spirit is separate from the Father and the Son. Three persons, one God. Not three gods, one God. Three persons, one God. Very clearly is what the Bible teaches. And, and when you read the Bible, you see that the Father is, is, the, is the great chief in the, in the Godhead. He's the one with the ideas. He's the one who says, let there be light and let's make man and so on. Jesus is the one who is the doer. He's the administrator of glory. It says he came to do the will of the Father. And he himself said, I came to do the will. So he's the doer of what God wants to be, to be done. And the Holy Spirit is the one who manifests the doing of Jesus. Now, but now, let me ask this before I talk about the Holy Ghost. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the Word of God. He is the revelation of all that God is. He is the totality of God in the flesh. Think about this. He is God's glory in a, in a human body. He's the glory of God in the flesh. He's the will of God in action. He's healing in action. He's deliverance in action. He's faith in action. He's glory in action. He's mercy in action. He's grace in action. He's all that God is in action. That's who Jesus is. He's the revelation of all that God is. And when we say the word was made flesh, we mean the revelation of God became a man. So all that God is became a man. So if you want to know what the Father is like, look at Jesus. If you want to know what the Son is like, look at Jesus. If you want to know what the Holy Spirit is like, look at Jesus. Jesus is the express image of God. How many understand so far what I said? Say amen. amen. So he is the express image of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to humanity. God created you in his image. Now don't forget this part. God did not say, let me make man. He said, let us make man. Meaning... We can identify with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We're created in the, we, we, we were created in the image of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, I'm going to answer who the Holy Ghost is, but I've, I've got to say a few things to you. There was the Son of God, the totality of all that God is in the flesh. And they touched Him, heard Him sat and ate lunch with him, dinner with him, walked with him, asked him questions and he gave him answers. For three and a half years, they walked with God. And the Bible says, John said, he said, that which was from, from the beginning, we, we, we held with our own hands the word of life. We heard it, we saw, and we touched the very word of God. Yet Jesus in the flesh could only do so much, could only say so much. And he came and paid the ultimate price and died on the cross and rose from the dead. And even after he rose from the dead, some questioned if this is really Jesus. Now you've got to hear this. In, in the Gospel of Matthew, we have a shocking, and I mean a shocking verse. It says, some doubted. Now wait, hold, hold, hold. Jesus just rose from the dead and walked into the upper room 
and said, peace be unto you. And some question if this is really Jesus. Why? Because without the Holy Spirit, you'll question if this is really him, even though he's raised from the dead. Did you hear what I said? How many heard what I said? Put your hands up high. Without the Holy Spirit, you'll even question his resurrection, if it's really him. That shows you how important the Holy Spirit is to the Christian. So who, who is the Holy Spirit? Okay, I will tell you. I will give you this, this answer. And this is the thing I saw as I've been living this Christian life. I, I get it now. It took me years to get it, but I get it. The Holy Spirit is Jesus unlimited. He is Jesus without limit. How many, how, many, how many heard what I said? Put your hands up high. Jesus in the flesh is now unlimited by the Spirit. Now, had the Lord stayed on earth, listen to this preacher from South America. Had the Lord stayed on earth, resurrected, just think now, if Jesus rose from the dead, David Manna, and he stayed on earth, you would have to fly to Jerusalem to see him. He could not come to, to, uh, to Sydney unless he flew on a plane. Jesus could not travel through space in a human body. Had the Lord remained on earth as the resurrected Jesus, you would have to go to Jerusalem and make an appointment to see him. You would have to line up with thousands of people to even have a word with him. And if you leave him, you will not take him with you when you get home. You'll only have a memory of him in Jerusalem. But here's the change. Because of the Holy Spirit is in your heart. You don't have to go to Jerusalem to see him. He's in you now. And this is what he said. That's so powerful. He said, I am with you, but I shall be in you. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. Now, now the Lord asked me a question. A very strange question the Lord asked me. He said, Benny, do you love Moses? And I was quite shocked when God said that to me. I said, do you love Moses? I thought, Lord, I mean, really, did I hear you say? He said, do you love Moses, Benny? And I thought, uh, I don't know Moses, so I can't love him. So I was honest. I said, no, Lord, I don't love Moses. And I don't love Moses because I don't know Moses. And then the Lord said, do you love Elijah? I said, frankly, I'm scared of him. The Lord said, do you love Paul the apostle? I said, no, I don't love Paul. I love what he wrote. And I cry over the precious epistles that, that Paul wrote. When I read them, I weep. But I don't love Paul. And then the Lord said, do you love me? And I blew up. Yes, Lord, with all my heart. And suddenly it dawned on me. It's not the Holy Spirit's responsibility to reveal Moses to me. The Holy Ghost didn't come to, re to reveal Elijah to me. The Holy Spirit didn't come to reveal Paul. He came to reveal Jesus. Therefore, in the flesh, Jesus is no, is no different than Moses. In the flesh, he's no different than Elijah. Because I never saw him or saw them. In the flesh, he's no different than Paul. But because of the Holy Spirit revealing Jesus to me, he is real to me while he, they are not real to me. How many of you see how powerful the Holy Ghost is? Put your hands up high. That, that, he would make, that he would make Jesus, who's been gone physically for 2,000 years, that he'll make him more real to me than the people who saw him. Think about this. He is more real to you than to the crowds that saw him 2,000 years ago. They saw him heal the sick. They saw him raise the dead. They saw him cleanse lepers, and at the end they said, crucify him. Yet, he is more real to us tonight in Sydney, Australia, 2,000 years later, than he was to the crowds that saw him in Galilee. Come on, give the Lord a mighty hand for the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit whose power makes Jesus so real to me.
There's an anointing for arthritis here. Those of you with arthritis, step into the nearest aisle and release your faith right now. Quickly. Those of you with arthritis, I repeat, those of you with arthritis, step into the nearest aisle. Arthritis for 10 years, as soon as she stepped into the aisle, all of the pain left where, her back. Where was, it, it was your back, dear. How bad was it? It was really bad. I fell on the floor in the hospital, and all my facet joints were impinging on all my nerves and all my body, and so I had pain in all my- Bend down, touch your toes, dear. No pain. No pain. Somebody say praise the Lord. Dear, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, dear Jesus. Jim. Arthritis in the legs, Pastor, for a year. The pain is gone. She can bend all the way down. Oh. She can move. Yes. How bad How bad was it, dear? It was very bad, and I haven't been able to sleep for about two months. I've had such chronic pain in my legs. But I got that I was healed in my left leg just before you said that this may not be. Thanks. Jesus. Your presence makes me whole. Pick it up. Lord, every bat, every bat, every bat, is the part of God, my dear. Keep her down for a minute. Yes, Jim. Arthritis in the knee. She was supposed to have surgery. She stepped out into the aisle, and the pain is gone. When, when are you supposed to have surgery? I was um, last month, and I cancelled it. And as, as I sort of worshiping the Lord, it's just so, just loosening up and no pain. Thank you, Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Take your seats, please. A sports injury in his right knee. How the ladies couldn't move it. He couldn't walk. He just ran all around this building. The Lord touched him. And what happened to you that, what was that injury? I had a sports injury in my knee in the right, and I could run for about two minutes and it hurt massively, like two bones touching each other. But now I went for a run outside the stadium, I ran around the next stadium, the next stadium, and all that. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand for this healing. Put your girl down, brother. Put her down. There you go. Pick up your, 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 your. No pain, huh? Well, thank God the pain is gone. Thanks. Thanks, Lord. Help him up and let him take the girl. Yeah, Jim. Fibroid tumors. She was in, I see the anointing all over her. She was in pain the whole service. It was sore. It was painful. It's gone. The pain is gone. She knows the Lord has healed her. had troubles with your stomach for, for about three years, but you'll never have the pain ever after tonight, I promise you. Two years she's had arthritis in her left knee. As soon as she stepped into the aisle, the pain went. She's look not at, stiff look, anymore. Look at the healing line, goes all the way back. That healing line goes all the way back. Can we give the Lord a mighty hand for all those that she's healed? Yes. This lady's been healed of cancer, and she had a toxic residual in her knees that caused tremendous pain lady, from the medication. Lady, I see the anointing all over you. Keep talking to me, Jim. Uh, yeah, yes, she, she had a residual effect from the toxins of the medication. It caused a buildup in and her knee. And where was the cancer? Breast cancer. What did you feel go through you tonight? Uh, I had, the pain was intense on my knees since I've started standing and, uh, and sitting. And now since I stood up and the Holy Spirit came down, I just felt the complete ease and release of my knees. My knees just unlocked and it just completely... I can bend it. Thank you, Lord. Thanks, thanks, thanks. She's been diagnosed with osteomyelitis. She had supposed to have her legs amputated. She's walking freely. She hasn't walked like this in a long, long time. Wait, 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 wait. She's had what now? Osteomyelitis. 
people this lady is wearing some kind of braces what are you wearing honey name dates pardon name dates braces like, like a you can walk with no pain yeah, I had a lot of pain when I walked in here tonight but now I had a heat that went through my body and um, I can walk freely come on people can you take these things off can you take them off yeah now sit down and take them off get my Bible off the chair sit down right here darling some uh, can I have a lady come help her take them off can I have you one come on lady come on run up here pick up the key play it again help her take the other brace off help her take the other one she felt heat she said go right through her body you guys better be in the spirit as you're singing i need you look at these how heavy they are that's a heavy thing right there just by itself i can feel that thing really heavy hear that solid Stand up, dear woman. Look at it. No pain. No pain. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Bring her back. Come on, guys. Bring her back. Come on, Josh. The elders and dangers bound. Worship you now. Holy, Thanks, Lord. Holy, Lord. Holy, Lord. Holy, Lord. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Help her up. Hey, honey, do this. Come on, let's go. Come on, people, give the Lord a mighty hand. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand for healing his people. Of mercy and grace, thou art welcome. I'm so glad for you. How long, how long have you suffered with this stuff? Well, 12 months. They were going to amputate my legs six months ago. I was paralyzed. They couldn't walk. They were going to cut them off? Yeah, but I had a second opinion and I tried something new and that was the breakthrough that I had because it sucked all the infection out of my You better leg. go back to your doctor and say, hey, doc, look at my legs. Yeah. If I came to Australia just for her, I'm glad I came. Somebody help her down. Come on. Give her her boots. Give her her boots, guys. Come on. Come on, let's give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Listen, it's been glorious. I have traveled the world the last few days. Oh, as you see this program, I'm in Europe preaching the gospel, and I'm loving it. And with me today is my good friend, Brian <laughs> Carnes. You know, you, your blessing are you. people like I have not seen in years. Thank you, Pastor. The calls are so heavy. The people are so excited. Miracles are happening not only physically but even financially. Yes, sir. And, and I'm glad you're here today because we are going to believe God with you, not only for your physical healing, but financial healing. You know that financial pressure actually ca can cause sickness? Oh, absolutely. And today people are talking about what's going on in the world. Everybody's scared about tomorrow. ISIS, the radicals, Hamas, what's going on in the world, Iraq, Syria. It's going crazy out there. But I have news for you. All is well. All is well. Yes, sir. One of the greatest, I think, most precious stories in the Bible is the story of that woman whose son died, and she said, all is well. All is well. And I'm telling you right now, I want you to lift your hands and say, 
all is well. Catherine used to say, as long as God is still on the throne, hears and answers prayer in us, long as so long as your faith in him is still intact, everything will be all right. Yes, sir. And it's going to be all right. Now let's pray for the people quick that God will heal their body and then you're going to take over from them. Yes, sir. Dear Jesus, we come. Come on, let's believe God with Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come in faith that every sickness will be healed. Hallelujah. Every bondage Shoot. broken. Every need met in their home, in their life. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now, Lord, descend like a mighty flood, removing that sickness, that bondage, that darkness will go in Jesus' name. That peace, reign, and joy in Jesus' name bubble in the hearts of your people for your glory and honor. Amen, amen, and amen. You saw what the Lord has been doing around the world. Australia, of course. Anyways, talk to us. I'm, I'm ready, brother. I'm listening. Well, you know, every time they see me, the people are saying, my goodness, every time I see him, he's trying to help me tap into this financial increase. You want to know why? Because that's the only thing you don't have. You, you, you got your miracle, you're healed, you're even saved, but you're broke. And I don't want you broke. I want you to be put in a position that the next house you buy, you'll be able to pay for it cash. Amen. I mean, that, I, I believe well, God wants to do want, that. God's people want that. Faith coming That back is here. bondage for yes, them Yes, it is. Yes, it's, a, I, it's a curse. Exactly. It's a curse. I, 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 told, I, I told somebody the other day, one man uh, got a phone call from the bill collector, and the bill collector, he, he had so, many, so much debt that he put all his bills in a in a shuffle, he would shuffle them, <laughs> and as he would shuffle the bills, that's how he determined which bill he gonna pay. And if the bill collector called and got him on his nerve, he told the bill collector, "Hey, if you keep calling, I'm not gonna put your bill in the shuffle." <laughs> <laughs> God doesn't want you to have to pay those bills one by one. He wants to give you supernatural divine increase. Amen, Lord. Amen. Where every debt you have can be paid. I'm talking about paying off cash. I'm not talking about acting like you got it, looking like you got it, and struggling. I'm talking about supernatural increase. I have tapped into the blessing of God because I work the word. I told somebody, I'm so full of the word that if a mosquito bites me, he'll fly away saying there's power in the blood of the Lamb. <laughs> I believe God is getting ready to give you supernatural increase. I had an opportunity to travel and go to Australia. I saw people healed. I saw people delivered. It was awesome having you there. Oh, brother. I saw Dear people God. set free, Pastor. And I want people to know that you're not giving to somebody who's manipulating the people of God. You're not giving into a ministry who's playing with the saint. You're giving to somebody who all over the world. Listen, Pastor Benny was my childhood hero. And I have an opportunity to sit with him and see his life in public and private. And I want to tell you, He's a man of God. And I promise you, as you sow, even I sow into the ministry. And I've been getting a great harvest. Prepare yourself. Your life is getting ready to change. You ain't seen nothing yet. Man. Your worst days are behind you and your best days are in front of you. And I want to let you know, God's getting ready to blow your mind like you've never seen. So, Pastor, now, I'm excited. What do they do? Go ahead and tell them. Well, I, I, I'm going to tell you one simple instruction. Matter of fact, Pastor, this is what I believe. I believe Ephesians 3 and 20. That was what we talked about there in, 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 in Australia, that he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think. This is what I want to actually do. I gave this seed because I heard another man say, give it. And I've been doing it all over the world. And I've been getting results. But this time, I want you to do it. I don't care what you ever, I, you say, I've given that before. I don't care. There's a different anointing on it right now that's going to produce a harvest. I want you to do this. Get a $58 seed in your hand. Why 58? Pastor, I'm telling you, all over the country, when I ask you to get a $58 seed, you know, in Isaiah 58, it talks about how your health will spring forth speedily and all of those promises in the 58 chapter of Isaiah. Pastor, all over the country, anytime I ask you for that $58 seed, my brother-in-law needed a job. My mother sold a $58 seed from, and the second day, he got a job from the city making $70,000 a year. It's our faith, I guess. It's nothing. It, 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 it it's works. Nothing else. It's the obedience. Exactly. And I promise you, if you be willing and obedient, 
you eat the good of the land. Somebody say, why does God give a certain amount? The same reason God told Naaman to dip seven times. God could have healed him one time, but God was testing his faith. And that's what God's doing to you right now, testing your faith. God told a blind man to go wash. I thought that was so inconsiderate for the Lord to tell a blind man to go find a pool. He can't see, but his obedience made him whole. We walk by faith, not by sight. Get a $58 seat in your hand. Write whatever you want God to do in 58 days and watch God blow your mind. I don't know about you. Pray with him. But I I'm excited. Him, Father, in the name Amen, of Jesus, Amen, Lord. thank you Amen, Lord. for the miracles that are going to come into this ministry. Thank in the Jesus. next 58 days, you, the harvest that's coming. I thank you that according to your word, you can do everything but fail. Blow our minds. Throw your weight around and flex your muscles. In Jesus' name, your people. amen. Oh, Hallelujah. The anointing here. My Glory goodness. to okay, God. Call the number on the screen and watch this miracle come <laughs> to pass. <laughs> See you again. Bye-bye. Keep Hallelujah. calling. Pastor Benny Hinn sends regular teaching messages through the mail with rich material which will bless and empower your spiritual life. Many of you are not on our mailing list, and you're missing a lot because we send out teachings in the mail in these brochures. Here's one on the anointing. Here's one on the three realms of prayer, beautifully done with pictures and the teaching is all there. Very nice, Paul Crouch told me years ago, he said, I enjoy most your teachings that you send in the mail. How can you get them unless you're on the mailing list? So write me today, post office box 16, 2000 Irving, Texas. A whole lot quicker to just call the number on the screen that's toll free or go online. Don't miss this opportunity to begin receiving Pastor Benny's regular teaching messages through the mail. Write, call, or request them online today. I've been asking you as my partner to send in pictures of loved ones and friends. Our people are praying 24 hours a day in this prayer room for you. And I don't want you missing the opportunity to be prayed for. Let's believe for when we come together in prayer and in agreement, things always happen. Get ready. Your miracle is surely on the way.